Dwayne at realfixesrealfast.com. I'm going to show you another use for the lab scope. Now you know in some of my videos I showed you how to use the lab scope and the low amp probe to look at a fuel pump and you can see the dropouts or you can see a bad pattern and know whether that's not as bad. Well you can do the same thing on any electric motor. I'm going to show you right now on a cooling fan. Now in this car it came in with the complaint that it runs hot at idle. When you're driving down the road it's fine. The owner says he doesn't think the cooling fan's coming on. What we did when it first came in, the motor would not run. So we did what is commonly known to do is just take a little hammer, tap on the motor, and the motor began to run. Now if you look at your electrical diagram, you see that the two power wires, or the two large wires at the relay, is the red brings power to the relay. Once the relay is energized, it sends that power to the black with pink, the other large wire. You can tell at your relays which ones are carrying power because of the size of the wire. The larger wires carry the amperage. First thing we did is just use a common test light, go to the red wire at the, at the relay, and we had power at the red relay. Now in this car, the relays are pretty easy to get to. There's four relays there. If you look up the locator on the information system, it says it's the four, fourth one over. We pull the relay off, look at the back of the wires, you see we've got a red wire, it's a large diameter, and a black with pink, that's the other large. This is the power in. When the relay is energized, it sends power over here. With the test light, we have power on here. With the test light, we really can't determine a good ground. Going back to the relay, we've got power coming in. The fan is running, and the black with pink now shows power because the fan is running. The fan just kicked off and we have no ground on that wire. We take the relay off. We've got power on the red wire. And we have ground on the black with pink. Now with the power probe, when I give the black with pink power, the cooling fan runs and it stopped running and my circuit breaker broke. On the power probe it has a built-in circuit breaker and you can see that it's been tripped. That's tripped because it's pulling too many amps. I can reset my circuit breaker, do it again, give it power, watch the breaker. Now we powered the cooling fan, the cooling fan run, ran, but it, the breaker tripped on my power probe. That tells me right away I'm pulling too many amps. But let's look at the fan. So let's use the lab scope and actually look at that signal. I'm yeah, going to yeah. put my relay back together. I'm going to take my low amp current probe. I'm going to switch it on to 20 amps. So it should show up to 20 amps. I'm going to zero it. Now I'm going to go to my relay to this black wire, which is the ground side of that circuit, and put my amp probe around it. Now you can see on the pattern, we're actually running. That's a very bad waveform, and we're pulling 14.9 amps. That's way too many amps for that motor. Okay. The motor just kicked off, and we went down to zero volts. Now we're going to put in a new motor and we'll show you what a good waveform should look like. Now we're going to simply pull the whole fan assembly out and change the motor. Put the new motor in, put it all back together. Now we've got the new fan motor installed, we've got our scope hooked back up, we're going to wait for the cooling fan to kick on and show you the pattern. Now it just kicked on, you can see the pattern went up a little bit, and now we've got a good waveform. Bring 
that down so that you can see it a little bit better. You compare that to the old waveform, it looked like this. The picture I took of the old waveform. And that's a live picture of the new motor.